The next thing that we're going to be doing is editing our header. So we're going to be changing the colors and the links, the link colors and the size of our header. So if we look over at this um, header, remember header is at the top just like your head, we can see that this uh, background for the header is a certain color and the links are a certain color and when you hover over them they turn a certain color. And the same thing with Apple, their background's a certain color and the links when you hover over them are a certain color and it's a certain size. So how do we change all of this stuff? It's pretty easy. We go back to our website and we go to customize. Then we click on header options and header colors. That's the first thing that we're going to mess around with is header colors. And so Google's header colors, if we look over here, is a specific color and the color has a hex or a hex number to it. So um, a hex color code and that color code we can see right here. So these are all of the different color codes and you can see that it changes. So this green is, you know, this color code and this blue is 003AEA. -A. And so the Google color code is some sort of gray. If you want to get gray, just click on this black right here and just mess around with this gray right here. So Google's color code is F a f a f a and press enter and we can see that it changes but now we can't really see our links so um for the header so let's go ahead and change the header link color and that's this right here and let's change that to 7c 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 and now we can see it a little better because it's a darker gray of course we could change that to any color we want and when it hovers, when you hover over this, what color is it? Right now it's a blue, but we don't want it to be a blue. We want it to be an orange like Google has it. So that's FF 7D 54 it will give us a nice orange color. See, when we hover over it, it's now orange. And for the header text color, that doesn't really... Um, pertain to anything that we're doing right now. But if you put text like a phone number up here, it would be that color. So we can change that to um, uh, the same color, 7C, 7C, 7C. Or just drag it around, it doesn't really matter. So once we're done with that, we can press save and publish. And we have some more options here like header size. So how big is this right here? So it could be very big or very small. Very small. Like apples is very small. And we can make this one, you know, just normal. Uh, also, we have an option here if we want to go full width. So does the menu go all the way across? and Or does it, you know, just have a column right here? Is this logo all the way to the left side? or does it you know, have space in between? We're gonna do space in between, so we're not gonna set it to full width. All right, there's some other things that we have options. We have the header right block content, and we can put in buttons in here if we want, or nothing, or maybe a search menu bar where we can search, search bar or maybe even another menu. We're gonna keep that as nothing. These are just examples of what you can do. All right, so I think that's all for that. We'll press save and publish, and we're gonna make it stand out a little more in just a second, but then we're gonna exit out and we are done with the header colors. So we're gonna lift this up right here and we're gonna press complete lesson. So we're done with that.